What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMod's World and what I'm doing right now is I'm giving you guys one of the recaps that I've moved to my other channel which is only podcast. Now for a lot of the newer viewers you probably don't know that I've been doing NFL recaps for years so what I'm going to do is at the end of this video I'm going to give you the link to subscribe to that podcast channel to make it easier because a lot of the guys that have been asking me like bro you don't do podcasts no more what's going on? I've announced it several times if you guys follow me on Twitter at GMod's World you would know but to make it easily for the guys that are my regular viewership that has been watching this channel This is what it is. All my podcasts, anything that I'm talking about, about sports, hip-hop, whatever's going on, current events, is going to be on the G Maya podcast channel, which is going to be a link at the end of this video, or you can just look in the description box and you'll see it. G Maya. It's just G Maya YouTube. That's all it is. Just G Maya by itself, all right? So pretty much here we go right now. The Lions and the Packers faced off on Monday Night Football for Week 9, 2017, and we all know what the situation is without Aaron Rodgers. It's very, very sad to say But one man determines what goes on in that Green Bay Packers whole organization, and that's Aaron Rodgers. And they got about, I would say, you know, maybe three more good years out of Aaron Rodgers, depending on how everything kind of, you know, because I don't really know if he can go past those three years. You know, it it just depends, bro, because the guy gets hit a lot. And um, even with that hit that he got from Anthony Barr, I don't think that that was an illegal hit, but... Quarterbacks are getting smashed up, you know what I'm saying? But the bottom line is the Lions took care of business. It was easy. Um, even though it was only th- the score was 30-17, but that didn't reflect the beating that the Packers took. Um, the defense tried to hang in there, but it's very, very tough because Hundley, you, you can't, it's, it's like, like you're going from like prime rib to like chopped liver. Like you, you can't expect that young man to go out there and beat Aaron Rodgers. But what I can say is this, they didn't quit. You know what I'm saying? They didn't quit. They didn't quit on. They didn't quit on Mike McCarthy. Um, they, it's not like the Ben McAdoo situation. That's with the Giants, because that dude is just an out. Listen, he has to be fired before the season's over. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. It doesn't make any sense for them to continue to go on with him because, um, you know, the Giants organization has to realize that, that he's just not the guy. And w- w- the guy's been, you know, suspending his cornerback. It's all kinds of stupidness that's been going on that just really needs to stop. So. Before we get into the fact that, you know, we're going to go ahead and mark off the Packers, we don't need to have, as far as the NFC North goes, we're going to go ahead and excuse them. You know, like how when you're absent from school and you had like a doctor's note, we're going to excuse the Packers from this season because Aaron Rodgers not being there, that's a major thing. Now we're going to talk about the Lions, their expectations and what should be going on. First, let me tell you this. People complained about the fact that Matthew Stafford got all that money. Let me tell you something. This Sunday, if you, well, last Sunday, if you watch football, you understand why, listen, Matthew Stafford got paid because a lot of these quarterbacks are trash, and we got to see it with Osweiler, um, whoever, uh, Savage, it's just, he's a real savage, by the way, but there's a lot of quarterbacks that have no business being on an NFL field, and the biggest issue about it is, Everybody's always going to say, wow, that guy's making so much money. But you guys have to understand, the quarterback determines everything that goes on. And you don't have to like Matthew Stafford, but I believe that with the retirement of Calvin Johnson, he actually got better. Because I used to go wild on him and just say, bro, this guy's nothing but a deep thrower. He closes his eyes and throws the ball in the air deep, you know, similar to like how Dante Culpepper did with Randy Moss. No, this man throws dots and he's making reads. He's looking at one side of the field, faking off the safety. He's doing... Matthew Stafford has proven that he can play this game without having, you know, that prototypical deep threat. And, um, uh, you know, I look at it as, as like, yo, wow. Because I don't think Dante Culpepper could have done that. Dante Culpepper is an outright bum. And he got away with having two of the greatest receivers to ever play the game with the Vikings. In, you know, Chris Carter and Randy Moss, who was the greatest of all time. I don't care about that whole Jerry Rice thing. Don't at me. Uh, but you get to see now why they're so important because... You can't expect this team to do anything while Aaron Rodgers is on that sideline trying to root the team on. It's just not going to happen. But as far as the Detroit Lions go, I fully expect them because I think that they got cheated a lot this year. Um, you know, that game where they said Tate was down and then they did the, the runoff and they lost that game. Um, what was that? I think that was with the Falcons. It, it, it's just they, they've got like the short end of the stick for a lot of this year and they still are right there. Now, the NFC North, I don't know if I want to hand it to them over the Vikings. I don't know if I want to do that. But that's going to be like a... Because the Vikings also don't have that quarterback. They got the defense. They don't got that quarterback. And I'm not sold on Teddy Bridgewater. I don't know Sam Bradford. I don't know who who these bums that... They're just interchanging guys. Look, the bottom line is right now, when you look at the NFC North, 
you kind of got to go with the Lions. Like, I know people, oh, bro, oh, the Bears, Trubisky. Listen to me. The dude is a rookie, okay? I got to go with a veteran. I got to go with the fact that Matthew Stafford is out there utilizing all his weapons and making plays. I have to do that. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm a realist, and I'm looking at what's happening, and I'm telling you right now, that's pretty much where we are. It is what it is, and that, that's all I got to say about this, bro. I'm going to have to hand the NFC North over to either the Vikings or the Lions, and I have to wait to see exactly what goes on. But the Packers are out of it. So don't. if you're a Packers fan, just, you know, you go pray for Aaron Rodgers, go do something like that. Your season's pretty much over. But let's go ahead and just root for the football itself, for the National Football League, and just say that it's going to be a toss-up between the Vikings and the Lions. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Again, I want you guys to make sure that you go over to G Maya, just plain G Maya on YouTube. The link is in the description box, and it also should be coming up at the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe there. Go support that side. And, of course, we got Madden and Full Gaming here at G Maya's World. I love all you guys coming through. Shout out to all my Aussies, my dudes from Denmark, Italy, USA, G Maya's World. One love.